right, so I am now to the point of taking the glass out. Ooh, not a piece of glass here at all. Look, I already did it. Taking the glass out of this sash so I can reset it. You know, and I, I don't know you can see it, but there's a piece of glass right there. And I've got the tools out to help make it happen. All right, so one of the first tools I use is this guy. All right, Steve, why do you use a file? Well, because sharp tools are better and this helps keep my tools sharp. What tools do I sharpen? I like to sharpen this. This is my hive tool, okay? File it like this. And I sharpen the hive tool because I need a sharp edge right here because I'm gonna take this and ship out the glazing. I might use the sides. See, look. See how my sides are sharpened too? Isn't that nice? Yes. Okay, so you've always got this mess to keep cleaning up, right? So uh, I've got a couple of things. I got this little duster brush here so that I can dust all that and you know and make real quick work of that. But that's not all you need. I've also got my HEPA vac right here uh, ready to go, and I'll turn that on. Keep clean as I go. Isn't that nice? Okay, so this is another tool I use in this application and it's called a window zipper, I think. Um, maybe that title is um, not used anymore because it's called a window opener now. It's made by Hyde Tools. I don't see if there's a, a label on it anywhere. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, I don't see it. But it's made by Hyde. You can order online, you can get it at the paint store. I get it at Tanner Paint here. Um, but I use this to come in and, let's see, see that little glazing point right there? I'll use that to get the glazing points out. Okay, and I've got um, glazing points hidden in different places. Looks like I got one there. I don't even know if you can see it. Is it? Maybe? Anyway, there's one there. All right, so I'll demonstrate this tool now. See, well, it's got these little these little teeth on there that are really good for catching on to those uh, glazing points and pulling them out. Like there's my glazing point there. Ah. Pulled it right out. See that? Okay. You can also see, it helps me get these, the residue out of the crack in between the glass and that month in there. Okay, that's pretty important because that can keep your glass from coming out. So you dig that out. And then there's one here. You know, I'm just gonna scrape right there. Okay, and that, anyway, that's the window zipper tool, and that's very effective in using this dry method of getting the glazing out. My next one I might use is this guy. Okay, and what that's for is I've got some paint residue all the way around, and there's no better time than now to go and start scraping that off and cleaning it off, because you're gonna have to clean it off anyway. And you've already got a nice holder right here, okay? And I'll use my duster brush, clean things up here. Get my vacuum out. That way 
gotta keep it clean as I go. And then maybe it's just ready to come out. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Also, you know, I have this sanding block that I use because um, I might have some residue left in this glazing rabbit here. I need to get out, I need to get everything out. And I'll use a combination of just this hard sanding block, my initials on it. Um, you know, maybe a scraping tool like this has got a nice sharp edge. Okay. And, you know, anything else I might need to uh, finish cleaning it out. So, yeah, first get my residue out of there. All right. Make sure I got a nice flat surface for my glass to set on. It's really important that you not have any foreign objects sitting on the shelf here because you can go to set the glass down and it'll break your glass, and that's the tragic. Especially if you go through all this work to get it out without breaking it. You know, you get some little, you know, some little rock. Or something like that under there that you didn't take out press the glass down and snap ooh man it's not nasty when that happens so. all right so that's that what else do i use um that's all i used on this one um you might have some you know some extra razor blades on hand because razor blades are cheap you know you get a hundred in here and you can change this guy out really easily so you know see how that that is no reason to not have a new blade in there okay regular glass this one was replaced I guess and that was in this square right here this rectangle and it was um, like caulking or something and it just goes to show you that you know if it's if it's not traditional glazing okay it's caulking uh, it's gonna have problems but anyway I didn't feel too too bad about breaking this piece because it is um, not wavy and whatever. I got some wavy over there. I'll put it in anyway. Upgrade it. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>